All right, guys, five stocks we're going to look at today and what price to buy them using our stock analyzer tool. We're going to do maybe a brief recap of our eight pillars. So if you're new to the channel, this is where we use the most popular part of our software. Mo and I created this in order to use for ourselves. Then, then viewers started to say, hey, how do I get that? So we made it for the viewers. It's wonderful software. The five stocks are PayPal, eBay, HPQ, Home Depot, Dropbox. Let's check it out. Let's start with PayPal. So, Mosafine, you and I always disagree on PayPal and the moat that PayPal has, correct. right? Yes. You don't think it's as big a moat as I do. That's correct. The five-year return on invested capital speaks otherwise at 13.6%. So, we have a stock that's down big time from an all-time high. All-time high of July 25th, 2021 was 310. The low in the last 52 weeks is 67. It's currently at 80 bucks. Now, quick recap of the eight pillars. PE and price of free cash flow are different. Mm. The good news is free cash flow is higher than earnings. So not bad. Everything else is a check mark. I don't like shares outstanding being down because the stock was really expensive for a long period of time, right, Mo? Yeah, and they were buy- they've been buying back since 2015. That's when they started. Oh, it's yeah. so expensive. You they don't want a company back buying back expensive shares. You get it at their peak. All right, let's go to analyst estimates here on our software. And this is what's so great about using the software. Look at this. They're going to double, according to analysts, up to 28 analysts, they're going to double their profit per share in the next four or five years. A lot of analysts too. Yeah, that is. And then for revenue, um, about a 40% increase in revenue over the next four or five years. Okay, so we can use this information to go to Stock Analyzer tool. Now, I'm going to do a 10-year analysis. Mo is going to do it as well. We're going to do separate numbers, kind of run through it quickly. But if this sounds overwhelming, guys... Trust me when I say it's not. It just takes repetition. Watch other videos. Join our community. We have a special where you sign up, pay for your first month, but there's a money back guarantee within 30 days if you don't like it, which I guarantee you will not. I shouldn't say guarantee, but I'm very confident you will love it. We have thousands of people in here talking every day about investments. So so everythingmoney.com. All right, Mo. Okay. Let's go with revenue share. Let's start from ourselves. Okay, I'm doing that. Okay. Okay. This is good. People are going to kill me on the PE. Don't care. <laughs> you know, that's the hard part about making these determinations. And this is a very popular part of our software. And people take screenshots of their um, assumptions and they ask for input. All right. What'd you do, Mo? Four, six, and eight on revenue growth. I did four, seven, 10. Okay. Nine, 11, and 13 for profit margin. Oh, wow. I did 12, 13 and a half, 15. You might be better off on that one. I don't know. All right, go ahead. Free cash flow. 19, 20, 21. I did 18, 20, 22. Okay. PE. 13, 15, 17. I did 15, 17, 19. High return on invested capital. Very reliable. People trust it. I think this justifies a higher PE than 30, in my opinion. Okay. Um, and, same and, for price free cash flow. Yep. Desired annual return. Same as yours. 12 and a half, 15, 17 and a half. Hit the analyze button. Stock's currently at 80 bucks. I have it in my watch list at 60. We have a low price of, call it 40 to 55, a high price of 60 to 90, and a middle price of 48 to 70. Now, remember, we want, when we go higher returns here, that's a higher margin of safety. If you believe all these things above, you're probably going to be okay if you want to buy it based on free cash flow. Based on earnings, you have to wait a little bit. So that's something you're going to learn as you use the software more. So again, everythingmoney.com. Let's go to eBay now, Mo. Okay. This is actually a company that I do want to own. And oh. I, I talk about a moat. I talk about a moat. Now he's admitting there's moats out there when everybody loves it. Well, there's basically like two moats in Even the Even though world. their five-year return on invested capital is lower than PayPal's. And who started um, um, PayPal? The, the eBay people. They spun it off of uh, eBay. Um, All right. Eight pillars. All right. Revenue growth is down. Cash flow growth is down. Revenue growth is down. That's, That's really weird. surprising what happened here. Did they sell something off? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. They sold, they did $967 million. Oh, wait, was that when they, is that when they spun off? Uh, no, they spun off PayPal a lot sooner than that. That was a long, I mean, not a yeah, long Yeah, it was 13, 14. Yeah. Uh, let's go to analyst estimates. What are they estimating? All right, not a lot of growth. No. Which, by the way, I'm fine with that because it's eBay. They're a pretty mature company. They are the online auction place. It's been around for 20 some years and people still don't compete with it. Now look at revenue growth. Oof, bad. that is poop in the butt. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. All right, let's go to stock analyzer tool. 
Now on these one, like look at this 10 year revenue number. This had, e this had PayPal in there. So I don't even look at this 10 year mm -hmm. revenue growth number. All right. I don't know what to do for profit margin. <laughs> I did the, uh, I didn't do the exact same. Okay. But you're probably right. I shouldn't have looked at your paper. I'm like cheating like at school. That's amazing. I was such a bad student, but I never cheated. I didn't, I didn't you didn't care. care I didn't you care didn't care enough, enough, to, enough cheat. to cheat. <laughs> exactly right. Man, I can't, I'm going to go a little bit lower on my PE than I normally do because of, um, yeah. All right, Mo, what'd Actually, you do? Yeah, I should probably change my PE, but we're going to go with it. I did negative two, zero, and two. You know, I thought about going negative on it, but with inflation going up there, products being sold, I still went with zero, two, and four. Mm -hmm. I, go ahead. I think four might be a little high. That's why I, I kind of just went. Well, I think with inflation and uh, anyways, go ahead. Either way. 25, 28, and 31 for profit margin and free cash flow margin. Okay, I did 18, 21, and 24 for free cash flow margin. I went lower. Okay. Because okay, of PE. What's been happening. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. The free cash flow is actually higher. What am I doing? That's, that's, that's a stupid idea. Let me do this. I'll still go lower, okay. but. PE, I did 13, 15, 17. You know what? I think you're right on this one, Mo. I think profit margin needs to be lower because I think they had a sale in there. Of a one time, that's why their their profit margin is so high. They had a they had a spinoff or a, a, got it. Mm -hmm. You're right. Okay, next. And then uh, price to free cash flow, same thing. 13, 15, 17. Desired annual return, 12 and a half, 15, and 17 and a half. I did 12, 13 and a half, and 15. Okay. Analyze button. The stock's at 44. Look at this, guys. I mean, it's been like this for some time. That's now, the. Yeah. So if you believe these middle assumptions, you're probably buying this thing because you have a 13 and a half percent return, which is ample margin of safety. If you want to wait, why do I have it on my watch list at 3250? You know. know why? I think it's it fell and I wanted to just get notified so I could sell more puts. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna put a I'm gonna put it on here at $42 and have uh give me that option to sell puts on it. Okay. Probably well you can sell service. puts on it now. I could, but I'll yeah. probably forget. So let's get the notification. Good idea. That's the big thing about the software, it notifies you. All right, HPQ. HPQ. This is a stock that uh Warren Buffett owns. He owns eleven billion dollars worth or something like that. Buff Daddy. Buff Daddy. <clears throat> High return on invested capital, 38%. Wow. Yeah. A um, little bit of debt, but nothing they can't manage. Eight pillars. All eight pillars. It's check mark of all eight pillars. Boy, they bought back a lot of shares, and I think that's probably a good part of their... So here's the deal. With a high return on invested capital, they don't need to invest, take a lot of their cash to reinvest back in the business for growth. They can use that extra cash then to go buy back shares right. that are cheap. And the stock is currently on a one-year PE of five, on a five-year PE of seven. Yeah. And they pay a pretty good dividend, 3.4% forward dividend. Yeah, that's incredible. dollars out of uh, $4.5 billion free cash flow. Analyst estimates, though, flat EPS, declining revenue. So this is going to be a doozy. Let's go to the stock analyzer tool and be conservative about this bad boy. I'm going to beat it up. Tell, tell me what you got, Mo. Why are All you right. going so slow? Um, because I'm trying to beat it up but not be totally ridiculous but i'm being totally ridiculous revenue growth negative three i put negative two negative one and one i put negative two zero and two okay four. remember inflation right go ahead four six and eight for profit margin i did six seven eight okay i did six seven eight for free cash flow because i think if you look back at 10 years i think there was um something about the profit margin that was a big drop in revenue and they still yeah they still have some businesses so the profit margin they still have some crappy businesses and they had a big loss 10 years ago. Okay. So that's why I was okay with six, seven, eight. What did you do for free cash flow margin? Six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, PE 10, 12, and 14. I did seven, nine, 11. Okay. That's fine. So, uh, same for price free cash flow. I did 10, 12, and 14. Yeah. Return 12 and a half, 13 and a half, 14 and a half. I did 12 and a half, 15, 17 and a half. And look at this. Yeah. And this, this is what I like. I mean, I like that I put that kind of beat it up and I'm, I mean, it needs to fall in half from here on the low end, but negative 1% revenue growth and still in the money. See, my low end's 25. That's, and, and your negative 1% revenue growth? Negative uh, two. 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 Yeah. All right, I next know. one. Makes me happy. Home Depot, the depot that is home. I do want to own either this one or Lowe's. The depot? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, so do I. It's one of my 20 stocks I want to own for a long time. Really great return on invested capital, 26%. Wow. Um, not a lot of debt. Look at that market cap to enterprise value, which is kind of surprising. $325 billion to 397. Guys, if you're new to the channel, the basically the difference here is the debt number. Enterprise value is if you bought the company free and clear, no debt, essentially net of all cash. I hate the shares outstanding. Profit margin is very consistent. Let's go see what the shares outstanding. What's the five-year? Oh, yeah. yeah. 
I don't like that at They're all. They're buying back. I mean, listen. But I, I, if I remember correctly, they have just been consistently buying back shares every year for 20 years. Guys, it's very important that companies buy back cheap shares. Yes. So they've just been buying back every year for 20 years. Just because they're buying back their shares does not mean they can justify paying a high. It's like no different than investing in another company. All right, analyst estimates. EPS growth. Uh, consistent, but 30% growth over the next four or five years. Somebody sent me a message on the chat. Revenue. Very low very revenue low. growth. Okay. All right. Let's go to stock analyzer tool. 10 years again. All right. Ready? Let's do it. One, three, and five. I did zero, two, four. Yeah. Uh, notification. Nine, 10, and 11 for profit margin and free cash flow. I did nine, 10, 11, and the free cash flow, I did eight, nine, 10. Because okay. free cash flow is a little bit lower. PE, 12, 14, 16. 14, 16, 18. Because I, I think to myself. I think I went low on those. Yeah. Okay. 12 and a half, 15, and 17 and a half. I did 12, 14, 16. So I think you beat it up on the, a little bit more than I did. Yeah. Um, I have a low price of 130 to 140, a high price of 185 to 200, a mid price of 150 to 170. Okay. I'm one, basically 140 to 188. Okay. So we're, 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 no we're basically, and I have it on my watch list at 200 bucks. That way I can start selling puts at much lower prices. 225. Right. Yep. All right. Final company, Dropbox. I don't, I mean, Dropbox is, this is literally the worst. One of these companies is not like the others. <laughs> one of these companies is not the same. I mean, we have, <laughs> okay. Dropbox. I, Surprised by the eight pillars. Not going to lie. I was expecting to see a lot of X's. Oh, wow. That is surprising. Mm -hmm. All-time high, $43 on June, in June of 2018. Current price, 22. So half from its all-time high. Eight pillars, you're right. So they haven't shown earnings, but they have free cash flow. Analyst estimates. Okay, they're going to show some profit. Rev oh, my God. Look at that revenue growth. It's abysmal. Yeah, that's real bad. See, I, to me, I look at Microsoft OneDrive. And I look at Google Drive and go Google Docs. And I'm like, and I and look at Apple. I mean, it's right there on the phone. So how much is Dropbox? And you can get Microsoft OneDrive with know. all the software from Microsoft for like probably the same price. So Dropbox was the initial like cloud storage out there. Eh, first, it was like really mainstream. And then they just fell by the wayside. All right. I don't even want to look at this company, but let's do it. Zero, two, four. Okay. Profit margin. Okay. <laughs> 13, 18, 23, because they probably have a good gross margin. Oh, I'm, I'm already telling you what I want. No, I'm you're doing. fine. Just, just do it. Yeah, gross margin's 80.6%. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that return. Yeah, so gotta, I'm doing... You got to have a higher... I'm margin. doing much higher returns here, 14, 17, 20. I mean, guys, it's just... I, I think to myself, there's a lot of headwinds for Dropbox and their competition. It's showing in the revenue growth estimates aren't very good for such a young company. Yeah. I mean... Uh. So, guys, if you like the software, you can talk to people in our community. There are thousands of people in this community. You saw I already got notified in some chats. We have a great special running right now where if you sign up in one month, you get if you don't like it, you email us, you get your money back, money back guarantee. It's risk-free for you. It's a dollar per day along the way. You will love it. Mo and I use this software every single day for ourselves. It solved a lot of problems for us. It will solve a ton of problems for you. Everythingmoney.com. Check it out. Check out our other videos. Thanks very much, guys. There are three things that you absolutely need in order to be a successful investor. The proper mindset, the proper emotion, and the proper process. Which ones are the most important? 